What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we just finished watching the WrestleMania 40 press conference, and boy, oh boy, they cooked. They cooked tonight involving the main event. There was a lot of questions, a lot of speculations. What was going to happen? I'm going to be honest with you. Personally, I did not think things were going to go the way they were. I actually thought that we were going to probably get The Rock versus um, uh, Roman this year and potentially Seth versus Cody this year. I, I actually was believing that. But boy, WWE, they cooked. They definitely cooked. We got to talk about what happened, man. We got to get into the meat, of, meat and potatoes of this whole situation. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream reaction on Twitch and on YouTube. We really do appreciate y'all. And uh, let's get right into this, man. Let's let's talk about what went down for those who missed it. And if you did miss it, go watch it on Peacock right now. Just go to the, the uh, Seth Rollins when he comes out there. Go to that part. And then just sit back and relax and enjoy some good storytelling. So Seth Rollins comes out there. You know, nice green suit. The shoes was kind of questionable, but the suit was pretty tough. I like the suit he had on. Uh, comes out there, fans singing along to his song. And once again, he says, uh, no pop, huh? You know, re referring uh, Roman saying he doesn't get a pop, get a reaction from the crowd. And he gets straight to the point. Hey, Cody, come on out here. Let's see. Who are you going to choose? Let's get this ball rolling. Roman's music hit. Now I'm like, all right, business is picking up. Cody didn't come out yet. Roman comes out there. Roman comes out there, does his usual, acknowledge me, all this other stuff. And I, I like, we finally get a little bit of interaction with them. It's been a while since they've had like a face-to-face -face interaction. And uh, Seth uh, proceeds to hit him with a jab. Saying, oh, look who came to show up to work today. And Roman hit him with a jab with the, and look who showed up in his wife's shoes today. <laughs> like his shoes is kind of wild. His his jacket and his suit pants is, is a nice, nice fit. But the shoes definitely was kind of wild. So I thought that was funny. They had their little back and forth. And he basically came out there to let people know that, you know what? Cody took too long. Cody took his time. He let the moment pass him. So now I'm going to choose who I'm going to main event WrestleMania with or whatnot. And Seth was, you know, you can hear Seth in the back saying, you can't do that. He's like, I can do what I want or whatnot. And um, he, he basically was telling Seth. And to me personally, and a lot of people were saying this in the chat, they were burying Seth. And especially on this particular line that Roman says, they were burying him like he was some sort of J.A.G. He sat up there before he announced who he was going to choose uh, to face um, at WrestleMania. He basically told him, hey, get this bum off the stage. Get this bum out of here. And I'm like, damn, bro, just disrespected the world champion like, here, like that, like he's some joke. So. After that, after more disrespect to Seth Rollins in his face, that's when he decides, I'm going to choose The Rock to main event WrestleMania. That's what Roman wants to do. Rock music hit. Comes out there, and he got some boos. He got some cheers, but he got a lot of boos. He was trying to set up for the finally. But every time he was trying to do it, um, every time he was trying to do it, he would get boos. He would get a lot more boos than cheers, and he's kind of listening or whatnot. There's some rocky chants, but you also hear boos and throughout the entire time. And he finally does his finally. The Rock comes back to Las Vegas, all this other stuff. And you hear the Cody chants. You hear it. And it's one of those things where he's just kind of slow building to the point where he finally says, you know what? The Rock versus Roman it's the biggest match we can possibly put on for WrestleMania it's the biggest match could possibly be the biggest match ever you know and the crowd's really not happening throughout this the entire time of him talking majority of the crowd is still giving him booze we want Cody chance it was very obvious and and well known the crowd didn't give a damn about what the rock 
majority of them was saying. So he started to, I guess you can say, play into the heel, the heelisms. He started playing into the hate. So he started, uh, he even brought up uh, him earlier today on the Pat McAfee show, uh, the Cody Crybabies. He brought that up and he he brought that up uh, again at the press conference, got a lot of booze. And then he started getting into his bag on why this match needs to happen. He wants to show us something on why it needs to happen. And even before, once he came out there and Roman had said what he said about wanting to face him and the Rock is kind of, you know, pretty much saying this needs to happen. They put the graphic of Roman versus the Rock. They put it right on the big Titan Tron screen behind them. So I'm like, ah, uh, they were at this point. They're still working us. They're like, ah, uh, damn, this is gonna really happen. Like they, they're really, they're really going with this. So he's like, I gotta show y'all something. Fans still booing. He shows us his huge family bloodline tree. I was like, oh, it's over. At that point in my head, I'm thinking. Damn, bro, that's GG's, bro. That, the the Cody story's done. They they brought out the family tree. It's over. So, go, you know, he's talking about the family tree and how their fathers and grandfathers and stuff like that. They they shook hands, a blood oath, you know, to keep the family business going. And essentially, you know, he, he was saying that, you know, some people are gonna like it, some people are gonna dislike it, but you know, this needs to happen. And if you don't like it, for those who don't like it, it doesn't matter if you don't like it. And the crowd starts booing because he's playing into the fact that this match needs to happen. This is the most important match because of our family. And there was one line in there that he said that was very important. And I knew for a fact he was starting to really heal it up. So he wanted to make the fact be known after showing this huge ass bloodline family tree that he feels that there is only one royal wrestling family that matters and that's the bloodline and once he said that line i'm like oh he's healing it up because you know cody said there's more than one you know even in his song in his theme music there's more than one royal wrestling family royal family the fact that he's saying this is the only one that matters, the most powerful, most dominant. He's healing it up at that point. And he he didn't care, you know. He he let people know, he, hey, either you rock with it or you don't. This is what's just going to happen here. So, at this point, crowd definitely is booing him. They're not liking what's happening here. And I love what they did here with Cody. His music didn't come on. He came out there. He's talking on the mic, making sure the mic worked. And the first thing he says as, as he comes out there to address everybody, man, this is some bullshit. And I loved it. I thought that was one of the coolest lines Cody has ever delivered because we need a little bit more edge from Cody. Fuck all the political correctness. We need some more edge. And that was fantastic. He came out there and said, this is some bullshit. He's like, no, Roman, you don't get to decide whose match, who you're going to face. I get to decide that because I won the Royal Rumble. So, no, that's not going down like that. That's not happening like that. I want you to know and everyone else who I'm deciding. And it's simple. I will be facing you at WrestleMania in the main event this year. Crowd goes crazy. Roman gets pissed. He gets angry. And he, you know Roman, he, he likes, when he's mad, he gets disrespectful. So he sits up there and say, what are you doing? You're embarrassing yourself. I've already beaten you. you you're, a, you're a page in a book I've already closed. Your story is over. I've already finished and done that. You're embarrassing yourself. Go over there and fight for the, the second place title. I've already, I'm done with you. What are you doing? You're embarrassing yourself. You're, 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 a, you know, you're, you're not relevant. You're a has-been. You're, you're irrelevant to me. You're irrelevant just like your father was irre irrelevant. And I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, one thing to piss Cody off 
is bring up his father. So he's like, oh, okay. Since you want to talk about family and how good family is, let's, let's talk about your family. Hmm? Let's talk about yours. You know, if family's so good, where's Jay at? And then boys start ooing it on. Where's Jay at? Oh, or let's talk about how pay, basically people are just lackeys. You pay them. It's not family. They're lackeys. That's all it is. Roman taking off his jacket like he's about to do something. So Cody started to cook here at this point. After he got off the, the family stuff, he, want, he, he brought up the, the idea of Rock versus Roman. He's like, what does this matter? To see who's at the head, head of the table? Neither of y'all have been cooking for the past two years. So none of this really matters. What's the point? Crowd ooing and on. And Roman's getting more upset. And then he really starts to get into his back. Because now he said, you know what? Let me bring up your fathers, your, your, your family lineage. Let me bring them up. Since we're bringing up my father, your grandfather. The Rock's grandfather. How would they feel? Knowing what y'all doing. If anything, they would be ashamed of you. And boy, things, now it was getting personal, it was getting heated. Roman steps up to him, but then The Rock steps in front of him. And Rock picks up the mic and said, don't you ever disrespect our family like that ever again. And proceeds to slap him. Hits Hits Cody Rhodes with the Will Smith slap right to the face. Cody's pissed. I was pissed. I'm like, hey, man, I don't give a fuck who you are, Rock. You ain't about to slap me and get away with it. He's trying to get at him. Everybody's that's on stage trying to, you know, stop him. And, bro, they they cursing and stuff. They have to bleep it out. It's getting, it, it's getting real heated. Even Seth Rollins gets involved in the mix or whatnot. And... The Rock uh, is over there. Let him go. Don't you disrespect my family. Let him go. I'll slap his ass again. Like, they just going at it. Seth gets into the mix, and he's over here telling off The Rock and Romy. He's like, you think because you on the board of directors, you think you can do what you want? You can't do that. You can't do that. And The Rock, you can hear him say, we can do whatever we want. And he's talking trash to Roman, Seth is. He's like, man, I'll beat your ass again. <laughs> like, like, it was so chaotic, but so good i was like oh this is fantastic and then they cut back to the panel you got cm punk on panel uh, uh pat mcafee michael cole and Big E. and cm punk while the rock is still on the stage and i love what cm punk was saying because cm punk was saying what the fans were thinking cm punk was like yeah if i'm cody bro i get the scratching and clawing and fighting like oh Screw all that slapping. You can't let another man slap you in your face and get away with that. Nah, screw all that talking. Let's get to fighting. I get, nah. I, I, he was like, Cody needs to, he needs to, he needs to get get more aggressive. And I, I like that he put that out there. And hopefully that's a turn that we see. Doesn't have to be a heel, but he needs to get more aggressive. He was t saying, Cody needs to stop being diplomatic. Be more aggressive. Because he just slapped you in the face. Nah, we ain't doing that. So then they cut back to Triple H having an interview. Someone backstage, in the backstage area, and you can see The Rock and Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman walking behind him, and they come, come into the shot, and um, The Rock says, yo, you need to fix this shit. Like, he's cussing at Triple H. And Triple H's like, hey, man, y'all, what y'all did, that wouldn't, that wouldn't cool either. And he's like, I don't give a damn. Yo, you need to fix this shit. Or well, I'm gonna slap the piss out of him again. Like, don't tell tell him we don't disrespect my family. Like, you need to fix this shit. And I'm like, ooh, things is cooking. Oh, this was so good. This was good. And uh after uh the press conference went off there, Triple H tweeted, and it's official. The Rock, not the Rock, <laughs> Cody versus Roman Reigns at this year's WrestleMania to main event, most likely night two. It's official. We put it on Twitter. So it's happening. Um, this was great. This was fantastic because now it opened up even more story possibilities. And one, uh, shout out to one of our subscribers on Twitch. I don't know if he subscribed, but he follows us on Twitch. But he, he came up with a, a, a pretty good idea. I think his name was B-Boykins. 
B Boykins 2000 something like that. He came up with a very good idea. What if this was all just a master plan by Cody to to screw over Roman? Because he he said he talked to some people on Friday. Obviously, The Rock was one of them. And he made it very clear that he wants to take everything from Roman. He wants to dis- he doesn't want to take the title. He wants to take everything from him. And he knew he was going to probably need some help, someone that knows him. What if this was all part of a a plan by Cody? Because that's the only way you can make this make sense. Because it seemed like Cody was cool with The Rock taking his place only for him to not. So that's why I'm thinking, I think, and what he was saying, uh, the B. Boykins on, on Twitch, what makes sense, what would make sense is to have Roman get his guard down. Have Roman feel like The Rock is on his side because he wants to have this match. Because they're family. This is about family, and that's what it matters the most. Only for when the match happens for The Rock to turn on him, to stop Solo or to stop Jimmy from interfering, to not allow Roman to get any extra help. He turns on him. And I I think that would be a, a way that Cody meant this is what I meant, but I got to take everything from you. Make them, make Roman believe that The Rock is not cool with him. The Rock is not rocking with him. They, they, they play it up. They're literally working Roman. They're playing it up. Roman gets his guard down. You saw them walking together in the back when they confronted Triple H. And I do think maybe weeks leading into WrestleMania, The Rock and Roman are going to have segments together. And it's going to be potentially a power play. And it's going to be a situation where maybe at some point The Rock is going to be trying to call the shots. And it's going to create a little bit of dissension there. But ultimately, it's going to be a respect thing because we all know who The Rock is. Only for The Rock to still low-key be working with Cody to make sure there's no shenanigans that get involved into their main event match, which we know will happen. And this is another good way to make Rock babyface. Because when you do this, right now, to the people, he's a heel. He's a heel. He just slapped the babyface. He's a heel. But you have him turn on Roman and be one of the reasons why Roman finally loses. Now you can really build the story between The Rock and Roman Reigns going into this year's SummerSlam. And next year's WrestleMania, because Roman will be distraught. His family's not listening to him as much. He lost, loses the championship. Like it's it's gonna cause some turmoil within the bloodline. And that's how you can extend that story. Because we're gonna have a solo match between Roman and The Rock. It's gonna happen. The question is when and where. And I think this is the catalyst to make that happen. Also. I feel like what they did with this story is different because Cody is over now than he was last year about when he was about to face Roman. And that is a fact. People have gotten behind Cody because of this rock situation. When you can have the fans wanting the rock during his, during his promo, like they did tonight, when you can have the fans booing the rock of all people, he hasn't been booed since like, Oh, three. When you have the fans doing that, voicing their opinions all over social media about their displeasure, that's when you know you got something. Cody is the most over he's ever been in WWE, and that's crazy to say. So they changed the story, in a sense, to pretty much, I guess you can say, help Cody get even more over be even more of a sympathetic babyface because on paper it looks like now Cody has to deal with The Rock and Roman and the rest of the bloodline because, quote-unquote, he's disrespected their family. It's going to be a tough road ahead for him. And they needed to switch it up because you don't want to go into this year's WrestleMania with the same storyline, so they had to tweak it. It's it's now how is he going to really overcome these odds even more? And also... Probably what having The Rock come out there last week, I could see them either 
trying to test the waters to see how the fans would react. And they got the reaction, but it probably wasn't what they were expected. So they called an audible, which there's nothing wrong with calling them audible too if they switch plans. That is fine. I wish there be, there's been so many times in WWE history where they should have called an audible. And maybe this is one of those situations. Either way, this story is good. This is this is good. I'm I'm loving what they're doing now. They got people really interested. And it's gonna be very interesting to see how does this play out. What what is Cody gonna say on Friday night SmackDown? How is the Rock and Roman gonna really work together in this situation? What's gonna happen with that dynamic? It's gonna be very interesting interesting to see what's gonna happen leading up into WrestleMania. But this was fantastic. If you haven't gone and seen the press conference, go check it out. It's worth your time. And y'all comment down below. Let me know how do y'all think this story is going to play out. Do y'all think that this is all part of Cody's plan? This whole situation, them, The Rock, and Cody getting into it. Do y'all think it's part of his plan to destroy Roman from within the bloodline? Because obviously, uh, The Rock can get close to them because he knows them. Do y'all think it's part of his plan? Because I, uh, I do think that is uh, that could be a possibility. Or y'all, let me know if y'all think you know The Rock is going full heel. Do y'all believe that he's going full heel now? Or you know, let me know some other scenarios. What y'all think is going on? Because I definitely think this is more. There's more to this story than just what we saw tonight. And I'm looking forward to enjoying the ride. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still the speed of YouTube, wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.